Hello traders, Mark P. Markets here. My name is Mark Principato and I'm a Chartered Market Technician and thank you for watching another technical analysis video exclusive here for FX Empire. So in this session, I'm going to be covering silver in the form of its CFD, which is XAG USD. And I want to cover some important topics if you're just discovering about these metals now. So let's get started. This is for educational purposes only. For investment advice, please consult the licensed investment advisor. Now, if you just found out about these now because they're, they're all in the news or they're being talked a lot about, there's some important things you need to consider. First of all, gold and silver in particular have a lot of hype and conspiracy theories that have been around these metals for years and years and years. I can tell you stories from years ago and they're still the same today. When these things spike and go vertical like this, you're gonna hear things like, there's no physical silver available anywhere. There's no gold in Fort Knox. Uh, you know, there, there's all, you know, silver, the gold silver ratio, it's silver's gonna be at 200 in a week. So you better buy it now. You're gonna hear all kinds of nonsense. The first thing you need to do is not be consumed by the hype. Whenever these things go vertical like this and you think, oh, I'm going to miss out if I don't buy now because it's going to run another $10. Well, you're taking a big chance, a big risk, because the higher it goes, it cannot sustain this type of momentum, number one. OK, number two, the higher it goes, the greater the chance of retrace. So why would you buy it here if you don't own silver? Why would you look to buy it now? Whenever any market goes vertical like this, I don't care if it's Bitcoin, I don't care if it's silver, I don't care if it's Tesla, I don't care if it's a NASDAQ. When anything goes vertical, the effective thing to do or think is, hey, this is an opportunity to lock in profits and reduce risk if you own it from lower prices. If you don't own it from lower prices, this is not the time to be putting on risk. This is where the professionals are unloading onto the people who are frantically buying, right? While you sell while you can, right? So what do you do? What's the effective thing to do? First of all, if you're looking to get involved in metals, I conducted a webinar recently, which is on our website about gold and silver in particular, and the pros and cons between paper and actual physical gold and silver paper, meaning these derivatives like CFDs and futures and stocks compared to something like coins and physical bars. OK, if you haven't seen that, it's free. You can go check that out and you'll learn something. Now, CFDs are ideal for short term movements, but they charge something called a swap typically. So it does not make them ideal for long term holds. Or, or an investment really, because they, they, it's like charging you interest. So there are stock alternatives, like uh, for gold, Newmont Mining, NEM, uh, Kirkland Lake Gold, which is KL, uh, GOLD, which is um, Barrick Gold. Okay, there's also GDX. For silver, there's AG and FCM. So those are stocks that, that at least they're liquid, and if you're gonna hold on to something to capitalize on a gold or silver move, at least you're not paying interest to hold on to them. Now. With that being said, they're going to follow, they're going to react to the metal movement. The next thing you need to consider is, well, if you want to be involved in one of these, gold or silver, where should you get involved? What's a much better price? What's a realistic price to expect to retrace to? Well, based on the chart, we have a, a, a proportional level right here around these low 18s, like 18, what is that, like 1840s. Uh, and then there's a historical level like in the 1820s. Can silver realistically pull back to there? I mean, it might. It's possible. The thing is, the market needs to prove that. More than likely, though, with this type of momentum, especially in this inflationary environment, I would anticipate that silver is going to find a support at a higher low. OK, that would make much more sense, especially when it begins to consolidate these gains. Gold consolidated for what over a month before it broke out. We had two nice positions. OK, our second position, our third target was reached at 1820. The thing went to like 1870 or whatever, 1850s, whatever that thing went to. So 
you know, we're not trying to catch the top. All we're trying to do is take a trade that offers good reward risk and having a high probability of working out in our favor. So again, with that being said, the thing to do here is to wait for a retrace, let the market provide evidence that there's support, whether it's at a much higher low or if it pulls back to these inflection points and then decide there what the reward risk looks like, okay? Because that's where it would be much more attractive. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out. And again, make sure you check out that webinar that I conducted a couple of weeks back. Again, it's free. Uh, if you have any other questions, like I said, please reach out. Thank you again for watching. My name is Mark Principato, Mark Primarcus, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.